Hey everyone, so it's Cheetah here, and as you can see, I'm about to do an uh, arena run here. So, I mean, it's a pretty easy choice. Um, I think Rogue and Paladin are both obviously really decent. Um, but, I felt like playing Rogue, and I'm ruling out Warrior because they have the, uh, the kind of the worst class cards in general. Arena. I don't think I want to pick such a late game thing just yet. I'd rather go for the small things and win on tempo and aggro. I've used this um, squid face before in arena, and it was a little bit too slow. So I might actually just go with Buccaneer. The Smith is really good in Rogue. Uh, Harpy is too slow. I've used Gang Up lots of times in arena, and uh, you don't really have the card draw or the time to make use of it. So. I guess Stormwind can be okay. Uh, the charge on this can be pretty decent sometimes. Even though I'm probably not going to win too many Jives, but the other two options were bad. Tomb Village is only amazing if you have Gadget. I think I just have another one of those for the combo, because at least I actually does something. Whereas Brewmaster is like anti-tempo. Not a huge fan of the uh, Silver Hand Regent in Rogue. I'm almost tempted by Stormpike Commando. I think I'm going to take it. Plus, um, it steepens the curve a little bit because we got a lot of two drops and. Like, really, the the other thing, the Inspire card, was um, would be like a 3 mana 3 3. You wouldn't really get too much chance to spawn the 1 1s out of it. I guess since we have like 1 drops and 2 drops, the Flesh Eating Ghoul could be okay. Uh, these are all bad, but I guess I'll go with the heal bot and hope they can't kill it. Um, we have a lot of two drops, and fan could potentially be good. Spiteful Smith is what I'm looking towards here, but these are all quite decent. I think I'll pass up on the Worgen. Silence could be useful. I think I'll actually go with the Spellbreaker. I mean, I know we probably won't win the Jace, but that's not, not too bad a card. Can only attack a few hero attack. Well, that's a decent card for Rogue, you know. The other two suck. I, I don't like Betrayal. But the other options are pretty bad. Um, I'll go with Betrayal. Uh, North Sea Kraken's actually good. This guy's okay. Sap's pretty good though. When I do have a couple of jousts, I would really love a sap, but I do have a couple of jousts, and this is this will be my late game. So the Kraken's kind of okay. We don't really have any mechs, right? We have one mech or two mechs. Remix. Okay. Three mechs, still a lot of mechs. I guess. Um, we've got too many two drops on the venture card. I don't like it. 
It's nice to have some kind of heals, but I'm pretty tempted by Kraken. That's how late game sorted out. Oh, more mechs is, is good, even though I prefer. I mean, Ogre has much better stats, obviously. I really don't want to pick any of these. We already have enough late game stuff. But I don't like this card. Too slow. And it doesn't do anything. It doesn't have a battle cry. Like, there's no text, which is pretty important. And I really don't want the Elven Archer. So flimsy. I guess we just have to risk the Gadget Jouster. Um. <laughs> I'm rolling out Mad Bomber because so many 2-drops is ridiculous. Maybe the Raid Leader could do something. Um, especially if we have like a Mech Warper out. There's a 2-3 it needs to trade into something with 3 health. I mean there isn't much burst cards that would go with the deck hand to finish people. It just is basically 2 damage to face. Or 2 damage trade, which is okay. It's actually okay, but too many like one and two drops if we pick the deck hand. We don't really have that many spells. Uh, I guess since we have a lot of two drops and one drops, it could be okay to pick the brewmaster. I didn't really like the other picks. <laughs> um. And we have no way to combo the patron. Um, the Wailing Soul has no advantage in the battle cry, but it's a 4 mana 3 5, which is okay. So, yeah, this is the deck list. Um, it doesn't have any backstabs or preps, but it's, it's okay. I'll predict um, 7 or 8 wins. I'm going to go with 8 because I'm feeling confident. Um, so yeah, check out the next few videos on my channel uh, to see this in action. See you there.